Gaming mice can get kind of expensive rather quick, and depending on what they have for features, they can really start to skyrocket and burn a hole in your wallet. Today we're going to take a look at three that will not do that, and even offer some RGB lighting. Today's video is brought to you by FanFit Gaming. Check out the interview I did with them on their site or their awesome neon lights. It's worth it either way. Links in the description. So here we have the mice in question. We have the V10, the V20, and the V30 from Moto Speed. The first thing we should do though is go over like the specs of each mice or talk about the features that they offer. As for the first mouse, it is the V10 we're looking at. It has its DPI, which goes up to 4,000, all the way down to 500. You can adjust it on the fly with the buttons below the roller wheel in the middle of the left and right click buttons. You can program the seven keys on the device if you want to install the program that you can download for it, um, but it does work as plug and play right out of the box. Its sampling time is two milliseconds and its FPS rate is what they're calling it is 6400. So it does take lots of samples and readings for accurate movement with a 500 Hertz polling refresh rate. Very good. The second mouse in the lineup is of course the V20. It also has a refresh of 500 Hertz with a FPS rate though of 5000. Hooray for that. It also has the programmable buttons that you can adjust if you want to get the software downloaded. You can also adjust the DPI up a little bit higher on this one, up to 5,000. And as for the final mouse, that is the V30, which also has a 500 hertz refresh rate. They're calling its frame rate at 5,300, which is the highest. As for the DPI though, that is not the highest out of the three. It only goes up to 3,500, but that means there's more finite adjustability between that 3,500 and 500, which is the lowest. And of course, it is also plug and play like the other two and works for Android, iOS, Linux, Mac, and Windows. So all three of these mice are all very, very similar. They all come from the same family. They all have similar RGB lighting. They all have similar features, modes, buttons, and layouts. Now, obviously they have different ergonomic shapes. Um, so you can find one that might be more comfortable. The button layout might be more specific to you if you like buttons in a certain place, or if you like your mouse to be very even, if it's symmetrical, or if you want it to be slant or slope, or a specific spot for your thumb to sit. You know, there's all those little things that can make you like one mouse over another. Now, I used all three of these mice over a pretty long duration of time, honestly, to get a good feel for which one I like the most. And I will report on that in just a second. I also want to mention, I did a second ago, they're all plug and play. So you plug them in and you're good to go. I do like that. Most mice are like that nowadays, but occasionally you'll run into one that like actually needs specific drivers or a program to get all the features out of it. These you can kind of plug and play. You can adjust your DPI right away. You're good to go. The only thing you really want to have control of are if you want to change what your buttons do a little bit or some of your RGB lighting. So that's one thing to take note of. They also all have braided cable cords, you know, for the cord coming off the mouse. That's something that is pretty much a must, in my opinion, when you're buying just nicer, high-end things, um, especially on gaming lines of items. Um, these are pretty cheap, though, and for them to have that, that's actually just a good added bonus. It just gives you more, um, just like stronger cordage, like it's not gonna rip or tear, you're not gonna have problems, especially with a gaming mouse. If you're gonna be taking it on the go, maybe you're gonna go to a LAN party, which would be crazy in this age, you probably just do it over the internet. But if you're gonna take your mouse with you or if you have it plugged into a laptop and you're always, you know, rolling up your cord and throwing it in your backpack, that's just good because it just helps keep it stronger and more durable. So all good features that I like. Now, as for my favorite mouse that I used during the whole duration, it's actually the V10. Now the V10 to me was my favorite for one one reason alone, or two, there's a couple reasons. I did like the lighting on it, it was a little bit different with the like the diagonal going through the actual mouse for the lighting on it. Um, I'm not too, I mean, I like I like RGB. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna say I hate RGB. My computer's hooked up with it, my mouse keyboard are. Um, I do like RGB, but it, it had nice lighting, but I really liked the way it was shaped for my hand. Um, and the fact that it had kind of like this lower rest for your thumb. So that's one of the reasons why it was my favorite, which could be surprising because the V10 out of, you know, all three of them is what you would call the lowest model. And this mouse is only about $15, which is kind of a pretty good deal. Um, it goes on and off sale. Um, there's links in the description if you want to check them out. So this one I did like the most. It was my favorite. The ergonomics are nice. The scroll wheel was my favorite as well, although all three of them have basically the same one, but I just liked its placement with where the left and right click buttons were 
or at, and also the size of the DPS buttons and how you can access those. So the V10 was my favorite. Now, as for my second favorite out of all three of these mice, that goes over to the V30. Now the V30 is a very simplistic mouse with a very just symmetrical look and feel. And, and, and that makes it probably the best overall if you're gonna get one of these mice um, just in general because it's gonna be the most in the middle. The DPI button in the center is not my favorite. Um, it sticks up a, just a tiny bit more than I personally like. Um, and you can really just pretty much only cycle through it because it, there's only a single one and not forward and backward for it. But other than that, um, scroll wheel is good. The button's also good. It tracks really nicely and it feels good in the hand. Um, there's no real place to really like put your thumb down below, but it, it's a nice feeling mouse. We have with all three of them, we have that soft touch plastic covering the whole surface where your hand sits, where your palm sits on the back and where your fingers are. So we have that nice soft touch plastic. And then around on the sides of this one, you know, we have a little bit of a, of like a, a grooved plastic or with a little texture on the side, which, um, which was kind of actually nice in the hand and, and it looks a little bit cheap when you look at it. It's trying to make it look a little nicer. Um, I don't think it's f fully pulling that off but it does actually feel pretty good in the hand as well. And the lighting on this one was also very good. So, um, I mean, all the lighting on all three of them are pretty good. So that is my second or my second place, the runner up. And finally, in last place for me, the V20. Now the V20 is just shaped a little bit heavy at the back. It's not my favorite because of that. It does have now the curve in on the, the, the right side where your thumb is at, or I guess the left side, but for your right hand. Um, it curves in where your thumb is, and it's not that I dislike it, but um, I don't know, it's just, I feel like I have reaching around it weird, and I do not like the DPI buttons on it very much at all. I don't like that they're to the side. I wish they were above and below and not left and right. It also has just some extra grooves on it and some extra just looking looking angular things that they try to do with the design that I don't think make it look very good, so it's my least favorite looking one. Although, once again, the RGB lighting in it is very nice. So all three of them have very nice looking RGB lighting, especially at their price point. So the prices vary a lot because there's sales always going on for them, but you're looking anywhere between 15 and $25 tops for these mice. Like they're very, very affordable and I had no problems using them when I was gaming with them, when I was just using them normally. I didn't have any of them like drop out or do anything weird or feel like they weren't, you know, like tracking very well. They all felt like really solid mice and that actually really surprised me for what we're calling a gaming mouse because um, with me just in the past, when I'm buying a gaming mouse or using other gaming mice, I always think that like, you gotta be spending at least $50 to get a pretty good or premium-ish, premium one for the most part, but that doesn't hold true anymore apparently. There are plenty of mice on the market that are at least built um, structurally sound and have good components in them, have nice braided cords, they're plug and play, and even offer some RGB lighting that work out very well, fairly well. So I, I was a little surprised. And I, I mean, I guess that's a good thing because not all gaming things should be expensive. They don't all need to be expensive. Sometimes they are because they offer very specific, you know, perks or features or a name brand that you really like or a special edition. But not all those things need to be that way. And for some people who don't want to spend that much on those components, you have options and those options are finally pretty good. So um, check out the links down below in the description if you wanna see any of these mice up close. I always am interested to know what you think as well about some of the products that I am looking at. Let me know down below in the comments. Um, check out the links down there too. Follow me on social media. I might be giving away some of these mice in the future on the channel, so be sure to stick around and check out future videos. Um, I know we have a giveaway that's ending soon, so be sure to check that out as well. And I'll see all of you guys in the next video.